Hello and welcome to Abacus Scripting Package. I hope you got all necessary points that you wanted in our previous packages. Here, in this tutorial, we will learn very useful topic again. In this tutorial, you will learn scripting in Abacus by Python programming language. There are three lessons and four workshops prepared to have the knowledge and confidence to write your own scripts for finite element simulations in Abacus. The aim of each workshop is to answering these main questions. How can we simulate by scripting from first step? How to run numbers of jobs sequentially? How to parameterize our simulation? How can we optimize our simulation using scripting? And also you will be given a complete and comprehensive explanation of the workshops for Abacus scripting. For learning this package, you should have some previous experience with running simulations in Abacus in the Abacus CAE. This means you know how to set up a basic simulation, create parts, enter material properties, assign sections, apply force and boundary conditions, create interactions, mesh parts and run jobs by using the toolbars or menu in Abacus CAE. When you start learning uh, to write uh, scripts, you will essentially be performing all of these same procedures except in the form of Python code. This package is an introductory package Abacus scripting and then you can refer to the advanced package related to this field. This training package is more than 110 minutes of an instructional video with scripting writing tips as well as simulation of practical examples to fully learn how scripts in Abacus is written. And all the required files including scripts, documents and files will be given to you. Introduction to Abacus Scripting and what motivates us to do scripting. Generally, to do any repetitive task, we need to script. For example, in order to sketch a model like truss, which some of its parts repeated continuously, we can use the scripting to save our time in sketching. Or in the following model, parametric script allow you to generate and execute the result of multiple analyses that differ only in the value of the length of the cantilever beam. Hence, there is no need to do all simulation steps. By adding Python extension to the Abacus, we can employ process automation which can deliver repeatability, productivity and quality to proven workflow and methods throughout the design and validation process. Of course, in addition, we can have the entire simulation in a small size Python file. Scripting enable you to use the Abacus environment file to customize some default setting of Abacus CAE. Furthermore, you can create plugin which can be a simple kernel script that performs a routine task. In this scenario, the advantage is that of convenience. If the script is packaged as a plugin, everyone who uses Abacus CAE will have easy access to it. For example, the below picture represents a plugin for designing composite tanks. As you can see in the picture, there are three ways to send Python commands to Python interpreter, including GUI, CLI and a script which explained before. After interpreting commands by Python interpreter, they are sent to the kernel in order to create input file. In addition, a replay file contains Python commands is created in case of using GUI. Hello and welcome to Abacus scripting package. So in this lesson two, we want to learn the basics of the Python programming language. First, we should know what types of variables are used mostly in Python. 
strings. Anything that is defined by a single quotation or double quotation is a string. It could be any character such as numbers, letters, or any other ones. For example, the king of Spain is surrounded by double quotations, so it is a string. If we want to make a double quotation string, we should use single quotation as here. Abacus integrates with Python in several ways. The entries given in the environment file must be given using Python language syntax. The input file accepts parameter definitions using Python statements in the data lines of the star parameter option. Running a script from the command line interface. The command line interface is the area below the viewport in Abacus CAE. If you click the yellow box, you will be able to see the area. It is possible to run a script from here using the exec file command. Be noted that the script file should be in your current work directory. In the first workshop, we will model a cantilever beam made of AISI 1010 steel in which a pressure load is applied on its top face. We are going to model this beam once with just elastic properties and another time by both elastic and plastic properties. The pressure magnitude for the first model is 2.0 MPa. As you can see, these numbers and tuples are printed here as a result of a print function that we added to our code. You can see that our model is entered to plastic deformation area because we have valued the equivalent plastic strain. Hello and welcome again. In this workshop, we are going to analyze a frame of I-beam whose dimension depends on what the user enters in the dialog box. First, we prompt the user by the get inputs method to enter the counts and the length of the geometry said that both of them must be in integer type. The counts is the number of the square frame in aqua color and the length is the length of one of the red elements in our geometry. All dimensions are in meters. In the first iteration these parts will be created and in the second iteration these parts and so on. Now we run the script for the count 20 and the length 2. We change the scale factor to 1 to see real deformation. In the final version of the script, we included the seed number variable as input data in the dialog box for the mesh module. Hope to enjoy this training workshop. In this workshop, we are going to look at an example of optimization using the planar shell bending model. The following block of code writes some messages to the Abacus message area. Now we run our script. Thirty Newton is the maximum load that we can apply. The messages are visible here. The red nodes have deformations that are more than the maximum displacement. In our directory, we can see the iterative results in a txt file that we created. In the final version of this script, we included initial, increment, and maximum magnitude of load variables as input data. I hope you have received the items that you're looking for in this package. Follow us on our social page and website. Have a nice day. Hope to see you again.